what's going on guys and welcome back to another blender tutorial so in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create this in blender so let's get started so i'm using blender version 4.3 so right here i'm just gonna delete everything on our viewport and add a cube and we're just gonna use this cube for later purposes so i'm just gonna hide this cube and add a plane so once you add a plane we're just gonna open the geometry tabs geometry node tab so after you open the geometry nodes, you make sure you have selected the plane and press on new so that you get these two nodes and we're going to add a grid node and we're just going to connect the mesh to the geometry and then we're going to add a mesh to points node and we're just going to drop this in and change the vertices to faces and then we're just going to add we're going to add instance on points node and after you add this you can see our plane has disappeared and now our cube plays a huge role over here so i'm just gonna select the cube and i'm just gonna scale this down in z axis so that it becomes like a tile and then we're gonna go to edit mode and in edit mode i'm just gonna press 2 on my keyboard to go to line select and select the edges and make sure you hold shift when you're selecting the edges like so and press ctrl b to bevel it so that you get this smoother edge and let me just turn on my screencast keys so that you know what i'm pressing on my keyboard and then we're just gonna move this side to the side and we're gonna select the plane and in this plane make sure the plane is selected and we're just gonna select the cube and drag it like this so that you get uh, object info node and we're gonna select the uh, geometry and connect it to instances oh sorry not points instances so that we get something like this and if you look carefully we have a scale node over here so we're just gonna scale this down like so and as you can see we have only four of them uh, four cubes so to increase the cube and size we, there's a you know you can go to grid and you just uh, increase the numbers so i'm just gonna set 8.2 meters to x and y and for the vertices let's say this looks kind of appropriate and yeah we get something like this and we'll just uh, decrease the z scale in the instance on point node so let it be 0.1 and we get something like this so after we get this uh, i'm just gonna add a empty so plane axis it can be whatever you want so i'm just gonna select the plane axis. so this empty is gonna be our controller so again we're just gonna select the plane and drag this empty to the geometry nodes tab and after you drag this uh, we're gonna add a mesh line and geometry proximity and we're gonna connect the geometry proximity to map range to control the uh, you know the amount of tiles going up and we want the tiles to go up in the z-axis so we're gonna add a combine xyz node so which now and then we're just gonna connect this so from the uh, object info location to mesh thing count oh uh, sorry from object info location to start location we're just gonna uncheck this and then from mesh line to geometry of the proximity node and from the push from the distance to the value of map range from the map range we're just gonna connect the uh, to z axis and then uh, we're gonna add another node called set position set position node and we're just gonna drop this in and we're gonna pull the combine xyz node and we're just gonna connect to the offset and then 
uh, if you just change this proximity to points you get something like this so then you can just edit it however you want so you can use the map range to edit it so yeah you can just bring this up do that do this like so so now we have something like this and you can use the empty to move around and you get something like this so that's the whole point of this video so once you achieve that we're gonna add a set material node oh sorry shift a set material node and we're just gonna drop this material node in and a second node and our final node that's called stored attribute stored name attribute i'm just gonna pop this in and uh, from the geometry proximity we're just gonna pull the distance and connect to the value and we have something like this and if you want you uh, want this grid to be extended in x or uh, y axis what you can do is that you can add a um uh, wait a second we can add a join geometry geometry node before the instance on point and then we can add a transform geometry node so transform geometry node and from the mesh points we are just gonna pull this connect to the geometry and we're gonna connect the geometry to the geometry of the uh, join geometry so like so and then if you look carefully there's an overlap so if I just increase the transform of x-axis you get something like that and that's how you can create this you can use this multiple times as well so yeah that's how it is and if you want you can save it and uh, after you've done that you're just gonna go to store name attribute and type whatever you want it can be anything so i'm just gonna type red and press enter and in the set material now we are gonna go to materials view to add a material so i'm just gonna go to material uh, view over here and let the ev engine compile and while it's doing that i'm just gonna go to materials tab and click on new so that you get something like this and in this geometry node in this set material node you're gonna select the material of this so if you press new you get this material so the material name is 001 so we have to select the 001 to the set material node and then we're gonna go to shade editor and we'll have a node like this and we're gonna add a mix shader node and pop this in and add a another uh, trans uh, principal B bsdf and connect the to the another shadow and we'll add a color ramp connect the color to the factor and then map range to control the uh, colors we're gonna uh, connect the result to the factor and the attribute and we're gonna connect the factor to the value now if you remember we i said to type whatever you want in the stored name attribute so if you have type red over here you have to type the same thing over here as well so i'm just gonna type red over here as well and I'm just gonna change the color of this to blue or something you want it depends on you and if you just uh, you know do this you get something like that and uh, it's something I and make sure in the stored name attribute it is set to instance rather than point otherwise it won't work so that's very important thing and then you just play with this map range 
and you get the final result and uh, then you just you can just add a you know spear on top of this empty and parent it and then do some animation so yeah that's it for this tutorial if you like this video make sure you give it a like if you loved it please make sure you hit that subscribe button as it helps me a lot and thanks for watching guys